let's start with this one here. Thank you for the super chat. Um, how do I say this? Bader? Bader. Al Mansour. Just, there you go. Sound looks good to me. Thank you for the super chat. And he says, what is your thoughts, and, uh, your thoughts and Sir Ed Mullen <laughs> on MSO multi-sub woofer optimization pros and cons versus REW software uh, with two SVS PB16 subwoofers and proud owner? All right. You know, we're, we're seeing more and more usage of MSO. It's a very powerful program. Uh, it, it, it's, it's about as automated as it can get. Um, and it, it delivers fantastic results. I think it really comes into its own when you're doing three and four subwoofers where the, the uh, solution becomes rather complex and you're looking at individual frequency responses and how all the subs are interacting and, and the standing wave profile in the room. Uh, with, with two, and Rumi Q Wizard really, I think, is, is the standard bearer in the industry right now. It's what everybody's running. Rumi Q Wizard is a, is a, a little bit less automated and a, a little bit more hands-on. Uh, it allows you to use your own PEQ filters or maybe something uh, from mini DSP if you want to use an external uh, uh, correction. And, uh, you know, with two subwoofers, I think you could get away with uh, Rumi Q Wizard and, and phasing the two subs and the onboard PEQs that we offer. There's three PEQs per subwoofer. So I, I, I like Rumi Room, Q Wizard simply because I'm, I'm more hands-on and I like to look at what happens when I do this? What happens when I implement this PEQ or what happens when I set the phase to a certain uh, uh, frequency? How do the two subs interact with each other? What happens? So it's a little bit more uh, learning for me, which I enjoy, but there's no doubting uh, the power uh, of, of MSO and I'm, I'm seeing it used more and more in complex setups. Yeah, and for the folks who don't know, MSO is multi-sub optimizer and it's a free software for Windows currently. And basically it asks you to take measurements of each subwoofer from each of your seats. And the goal is to try to make the seat to seat consistency as close as possible. So the tough thing is a lot of times you'll you'll optimize for the sub or the base response in a single position and then you move over a few seats and maybe it's not optimal there. And so this software can adjust each individual subwoofer for the, it'll adjust the PEQs for each one, the the delay, uh, what else, and levels. Yep. So it's kind of weird. You wouldn't be able to do it yourself. It kind of, it's like a brute force type of thing. It just tries all these different combinations to see what gives you the most consistent it, it, response. It's very, it's very powerful and props to the, to the individuals who wrote the programming in it. Uh, and, and you actually bring up a good point, Joe. The, the, I'm actually a fan often. If let, Let's say it's your system and, and you've invested all the money and, and you sit in the sweet spot, right, and you want everything perfect for you. Uh, we've all seen when you move the microphone to a different seat how the frequency response changes drastically in the room. And it's that's just you're moving through the standing wave pattern and the peaks and nulls and – you know, if you're running auto setup and you measure at the sweet spot, then you move over three, four, five feet, or even behind you to a separate uh, a row, what happens? Well, the, the frequency response changes considerably. So what does auto setup try to do? It tries to do what MSO is doing, which is develop some type of aggregate solution that works well, reasonably well at all the seats. But if you think about it, at the expense of the sweet spot. It mm. will never be as good at the sweet spot if you measure in five or six different locations than if yeah. you measure only in the sweet spot. And we don't we don't want the step uh, you know the uh, mother-in-law chair to be better than the sweet spot. Exactly. Right? Right? So yeah, you know, I oftentimes my advice is, you know, <laughs> you can try it both ways, but if you measure one, two, three in the sweet spot, I can almost guarantee you, you're going to get better sounding and better measuring results at the expense of the other locations. But hey, who cares? It's your family member. It's your guests. They're going to have a great experience anyway. They're going to love it. What They won't know the difference, but you no. will. So <laughs> that's a little bit of a different perspective that I wanted right. to share is sometimes you can be a little bit, a little bit selfish and maximize the response at your listening position. Uh, and, and maybe not worry so much about who who is it, Aunt Tilly 
yeah. <laughs> in the background. Yeah. I'll be I'll be honest. I have four theater chairs, and the number of times that all of them were filled, I could count on my one hand. There you know, it's usually me watching a, a movie late at night when everybody's sleeping, and I just I turn it up, and I did enjoy you, it. It's got to be you, right? Did I you, mean, you want you, it to be the best for you. Did you scoot it over so that one chair is just directly? Oh, I should. Center? I need to. I need to <laughs> make that one center. Yeah, yeah but uh, for me, it's more of a perfectionist thing. You know, if I know that I can make it good at all of them, you know, you're gonna try. I, I'm gonna try, and so MSO allows me to not compromise. I can make it good for mine and everybody else's if that ever happens. But um, if yeah. it's possible, if it's possible, I can do it. But sometimes, you know, you move a couple of feet. Like in my own reference theater around the corner, mm -hmm. uh, I have a massive null like three feet behind me. It's at 42 hertz. <laughs> it's like 15 or 17 dB deep. It's bad. It's a front to rear standing wave null. It's very persistent. Uh, when I discovered it, I said, okay, I'm not sitting here. <laughs> and I moved my seat up three feet and reconfigured the locations of the speakers in the room. And uh, my bass response is awesome. But if I lean back too far or move my chair back a couple feet, wow, the mid bass is gone. Make sure to check out our audio only version of the podcast at anchor.fm forward slash daily hi fi, or just go to your favorite podcasting service and search for daily hi fi. <laughs>